saw you on that TV show. You were so angry. I knew that was because of me. I never mentioned your mum at TV interviews. You never went there, but uh, I knew. You knew you did, you? I guessed. Yeah? What could you guess? <sighs> your mother was very difficult to be around sometimes. Was that when she was drunk or when she was off her face? I don't know. I couldn't handle it. And a ten-year-old could. You were a kid. I thought you'd be okay. You have no fucking idea. She used to burn me with cigarettes in places no one could see, you know? I still remember what it felt like, how it smelt. Said it was my fault, you left bullshit my fault. I called that TV show. Told the producer who I was and that I wanted to see you. The producer wanted to put it all on camera. I couldn't go there. You did what you did. Maybe I could have stopped you. Yeah, maybe it would have been you with third degree burns. I love you. Don't you fucking dare say that. Don't you fucking dare. I don't even recognise you, and that's what pisses me off the most. You don't look like him. You don't sound like him. And if my dad walked in here right now, this glass wouldn't have stopped me. I would have smashed the fucking glass, and then I would have smashed his fucking face. But he didn't walk in. He said you. Some prick who wants to talk about their feelings and issues and bullshit. Fre Fre no, Frank, I'm I sorry. I've waited. I've waited a long time. I stood at my bedroom window every night. And every night he let me down. Even when social services came and took me away from that bitch and put me in some new place, I was still waiting. I imagined him running in, picking me up, Squeezing my hand like he used to take me with him. Frankly, no, I... I haven't finished. He didn't walk in, did he? So I started thinking about the day that I could get back at him. Hurt him, you know? I started thinking about that day. And then you fucking walk in here. You're not even him anymore. You even took that away from me.